It's fine. Why does it say if necessary? And I don't want to do that many dishes. If you guys were looking for some fancy, beautiful, aesthetically pleasing cooking videos, you're in the wrong place. Oh, hello interwebs and welcome back. I'm Shanna, this is where I share my life and stories and vision opinions and whatever else I feel like. And welcome to the very first episode of Shanna's Ratchet Kitchen. Yes, this is a very low budget production using iPhones and, you know, me. But we're here to cook today. And I'm not gonna tell you what we're gonna cook because first we're gonna go shopping. Let's throw it back to past Shanna. Good evening guys, so we are at Publix. Um, I'm buying ingredients for the recipe I'm going to be making tomorrow on Shanna's Ratchet Kitchen. I probably already entered this. I'm just going to take you guys shopping with me too because I hate shopping and that's part of the cooking experience. So let's get in there. So there are a few things on the list that I don't know what they are. Like vital wheat gluten, chickpea flour. So wish me luck. Um, we do have a few of the ingredients at home, but we should be able to find most of them, so let's see. Onion. We got our tomato paste, but also I'm gonna get a pop because I'm hungry. I think this is the right area to look in. Oh, ha 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 ha. Chickpea flour. There's one of the things that we need. I am almost out of nutritional yeast, so we need some of that. So, so far the only thing that I can't find is the Vital Wheat Gluten. I looked it up and it says Walmart sells it online, so maybe they sell it in the store too. But I'm not seeing wheat gluten anywhere. And the one of the things was like wheat gluten flour by this brand, but I don't see wheat gluten flour. So hopefully we find something, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Beep, beep, beep. This is a quick reminder to let you guys know that you should hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And if you like the video at any point, go ahead and hit that like button as well. Sorry for the interruption. I'm going to shut up now and let's get back to the video. All right, guys, it is the next day. We are now at good old Walmart. Hopefully they have the Vital Wheat Gluten. It said online that they sell it online. So hopefully they also have it in the store. If not, I'm going to have to come up with a different recipe to make for my first Shanna's Ratchet Kitchen video. Why did it take me so long to put that sentence together? I don't know. Let's get in here. Well guys, I couldn't find the Vital Wheat Gluten, which means that I just ordered it online from Amazon, but that's not gonna be here today, which means I'm not gonna have it in time to make Wednesday's video. So, I'm gonna do something different instead, but I have an idea. So, I want you to guess down below what you think I'm going to be making for next week's Shanna's Ratchet Kitchen video based only on the ingredients that you saw me buy at Publix yesterday and the Vital Wheat Gluten that I just bought online from Amazon. Let me know and maybe we'll have a special prize for the winner. If anybody guesses it correctly or whoever guesses it correctly first, I'll figure something out. We'll do something cute. But yeah, um, disappoint. So I guess what we're gonna do is transition back into the rest of the video where I'm cooking something else. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. As I'm sure you guys can imagine, the disappointment of not being able to go with my original plan is real. However, we are gonna think of something fun to give to the first person who guesses what we're making next week. And what we're making today is a Green Chef meal. So I ended up ordering Green Chef because one of the influencers that I follow recommended them and had a good discount code. And I was like, you know, I've been using HelloFresh. Might as well try some Green Chef and see how it is. And today we're going to be making the cauliflower couscous bowls. If you're wondering why my menu's messed up, the box that it was shipped in got wet because it was raining that day, but it's fine. We can make it work. We can read the majority of the menu, so it's not a big deal. And hopefully this turns out good. Hopefully it goes well. This isn't as exciting as I wanted it to be, but you know, we're gonna do it. And we're gonna hope it turns out really well and not like a hot mess, because I'm not great with the whole, you know, following recipes thing. All right, let's head to it. 
So step one in our direction says to preheat oven to 425 degrees. So that's what we're gonna do. And in case anybody is wondering why we are suddenly doing cooking videos on my channel, I have done this randomly on my Instagram for a long time and people seem to really like it. So I thought maybe a little longer length, more detailed version would be fun over here. So if you guys like it, let me know. If you don't like it, we don't, we don't ever have to do it again. But, you know, hopefully you do. So pretty much everything that we need comes in one of these little paper bags here. I usually just take everything out and then as I'm cooking, I will put the trash in the paper bag so I can throw the paper bag away all at once. And it's easier cleanup for lazy people like me. Our next step says to cut cauliflower into bite-sized pieces if necessary. Why does it say if necessary? Why doesn't it say just to do it? I'm just, we're just gonna do it. We clearly are not professionals here, quite the contrary. We are here to have a good time and feed ourselves some delicious food. And feed ourselves delicious food, we shall. As I try and figure out how to cut cauliflower like a total noob. Now that the cauliflower is cut, next we have to roughly chop some dates. Speaking of dates, tell me in the comments below. When's the last time you went on a date? Did you take yourself on a date? Did you take someone else on a date? Did someone take you on a date? When was it? Let me know. What'd you guys do? Let me live vicariously because I don't do anything. Hashtag pandemic life. How does one chop a date? What was it supposed to look like? Hold on. Okay, I don't think dates have seeds. Next, we gotta chop this pistachios. I feel like chopping nuts is gonna be challenging, but I'm supposed to do it, so we're gonna try. I think, I think that's fine. Next, it says to zest a whole lemon. Oh, there's a sticker. Hold on, maybe we should take the sticker off over a bowl. I don't really know if we need to zest the whole lemon, but we're, we're gonna, we're gonna try to, we're gonna zest. How does one, just like this? I don't know if you know if I have the camera in focus. Hopefully it is. This is hard to do by yourself, you guys. That's why it's a ratchet kitchen, not a fancy kitchen. It's not even my kitchen, to be fair. Anything happening? It's all stuck to the bottom. Just keep zesting, just keep zesting, just keep zesting, zesting, zesting. What do we do? We zest. Ho, 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 ho. I love to zest, I love to zest. When we love to, I'm sorry. You know, I set this camera up down here thinking we were gonna get a beautiful shot of zesting the lemon and I'll, I could do it slow-mo. And we could have all these little pieces falling and all they freaking did was stick to this thing. Not amused. I don't even know if that's enough zest. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Quarter lemon that I can do. Oven's ready. Next, it says to remove any fibrous, fiber strings from the snap peas. Fiber strings, you gotta go. How does one remove a fiber string from a snap pea? Was that a string? I don't even know. I mean, it just looks like a snap pea to me. Would it be? totally terrible if I just like didn't remove the strings from the snap peas. I think the peas are fine. A few moments later. Oh, there's a little note here. To quickly prep, firmly pinch one end of the snap pea and pull downward to remove the fiber string. Wait, so which end does it matter? Pinch and pull. So you bend. And snap. It just snapped the end off. That can't be right. Pinch and, no, pinch and pull. No, that can't be right either. Okay, this is too much work. Fiber strings are staying. They're staying. Next, we gotta boil some water in a pot. Oh, and cut. Quarter cup. Ooh la la. Salt that ish. Oh yeah. Now we just gotta wait for the water to boil. And through the magic of editing, you don't have to be impatient like I do. Oh, it's boiling. All right, so to our now boiling water, we have to add the couscous and the red peppers. I 
it says the couscous should take anywhere from like 11 to 14 minutes to cook. So just to be safe, here is how we're gonna make sure that happens. Setting our timer for 11 minutes, just to be safe. So this says heat about one and a half tablespoons of cooking oil in a medium oven safe saute pan over medium high heat. Add cauliflower to the hot pan, season with a quarter teaspoon of salt and a pinch of pepper, and then cook for two to four minutes. And you know, we don't really measure anything if we don't have to. So I'm gonna say that looks like about one and a half tablespoons of cooking oil. Whether it actually is less or more or exactly spot on, it, it, does it really matter? No. Is it hot yet? It feels hot. I think it's hot. Let's add the cauliflower. Well, it's not sizzling, but you know, it's fine. It'll cook eventually. Why is the cauliflower so white? There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Our next step after our cauliflower is looking a little brown in there, which it already is looking a little brown, but I want it to be a little more, is to transfer it to the oven for 10 to 12 minutes and have to start halfway through. So we're gonna have to set a second timer. Thank God that I have a timer on my Fitbit as well. And then remove that from the pan and add the za atar seasoning and stir it to coat. Did I see remove that from the pan? I didn't remove that from the oven, whatever. I mean, I think that's looking pretty good. So let's transfer her to the oven. Oh God, that's hot, that's hot in there. So much heat. Okay, I gotta be able to grab you still. Okay, okay, goodbye. All right guys, we got six minutes on the Fitbit. So then we gotta stir the cauliflower. So our little recipe here actually calls for us to use a second pan later to cook the snap peas. Now, because your girl is lazy and I don't wanna do that many dishes, my solution is instead to pour out the cauliflower from the pan that it's currently in once it's done cooking and add the za atar seasoning to it in a bowl, mix it up in the bowl, and then we can reuse that pan for the snap peas and only have to deal with washing one pan. I think it's a solid plan. Meanwhile, I would Presentation. Watching our girl Kyla play the Sims. The you don't know who she is. Go follow grade. her. Get She's awesome. From your mom. She's gotten e -E into uh, e gaming videos gets to recently. Run laps. Really Lots of them. Doubt if we got some A's. Oh. Look at everybody running outside. Oh my god, that's so Wrist funny. is vibrating. One more hour. It's time to stir guys. the cauliflower. Look at her. All right, six more minutes there. It's his birth. Oh, 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 oh. Here he goes. All right, couscous should be almost done, maybe. Let's check it. We still got some water in there. We're not quite done yet. Cauliflower is done. I'm gonna go transfer it to a bowl. This is the Za Atar blend. It smells really good. It has a very like, oregano smell to it. Let's mix it onto our cauliflower. If you guys were looking for some fancy, beautiful, aesthetically pleasing cooking videos, you're in the wrong place. But if you're looking for something maybe entertaining, maybe interesting, hopefully delicious, but definitely honest, you're in the right place. Mm, that is what our cauliflower looks like. It smells so good. I think by this point our couscous was supposed to be done, but it's not, so there's still water in it. It's still going. So instead, let's go ahead and move on to the next part where we have to cook the snap peas. It says to heat about a tablespoon of oil in a small saute pan over medium heat, add the snap peas to the pan, add salt, add pepper, and cook two to four minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. Once the couscous is done, we'll just be adding the dates and the lemon zest to the pot with it and stirring it up with some salt and pepper. So when we're finally done, I'll show you guys that. <laughs> the snap peas are pretty much done. Next, we just need to remove them from the heat and add some little mint, 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 mint. Ooh. Mm. Oh, God, that smells amazing. Here's some mint for you guys. Fresh in those little pea breaths. Yes. I don't know what that was. 
final step is to plate everything, add some of this harissa spice tahini sauce, which I know is gonna be amazing, and dig in. Let's do it. Let's add the couscous. This is hard to do with one hand, you guys, but we're gonna do our best. Next, we add some cauliflower. We add some more cauliflower. I'm gonna need two hands, but we're adding the peas and the mint next. I'll show you guys in a second. There's our peas and our mint. See if I can do this with one hand and drizzle some sauce on this bad boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's not as beautiful as it could be. Sorry. And there we have it guys, our final dish. Let's squeeze a little lemon on this bad boy. Maybe I can do it with one hand. Maybe we can get a pretty shot that I can slow-mo. Let's see. Ooh. No, that didn't, it didn't work out. We tried. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm just here to tell you it does smell really good. I hope it tastes just as good. We'll have my mom taste it too and see what she thinks about it. I'm trying to get everything on the fork. Mmm. It's really good. It's spicy. It's definitely spicy. There's a lot of hodrissa in that sauce. But the flavor is really, really delicious. I love that it has so many different vegetables in it. I love couscous, couscous, it's so good. It's good. I like it. I would rate this meal on a scale, should you do one to 10? On a one to skin, on one to skin? On a one to 10 scale, I would give this meal a solid seven and a half for taste. And I'm gonna say on like a satiety level, we'll do that one to five, maybe like a four. It's gonna be very filling because of the couscous, I'm sure. But I don't think I'm gonna be like real full, you know, like a level five. Let's go see what mom thinks. Let's get the, the Madre review. Madre doesn't wanna be on camera, so we're just gonna listen to her. You're gonna think it's spicy. I'm just I, warning I you. I I'm warning her ahead of time, it's spicy. You don't like spicy. What do you think? On a one to 10 taste level, what would you give it? I gave it a seven. I give it an eight. An eight? Mm -hmm. Okay. Besides the spice. What do you think? If we, were gonna, like the if we were gonna guess the satiety of it, like a one to five, five being like, oh, I'm real full, but I feel good. And like one being like, I'm freaking starving still. What would you? If I ate this whole thing? Yeah. Probably a four because I probably want something else. See, there you go, guys. There you go. Like a piece of bread or something. Yeah, just something. Yeah. Yeah, that is good. Yay! Yeah, good. Now, because this is a Green Chef thing, I thought I would give you guys the opportunity to get $55 off. I think it's like your first three weeks or something. And then that would give me $25 that I can put toward my own meals. But it's not a sponsored thing. It's not an affiliate thing. Literally, if you order from Green Chef, you also get a link to be able to do this. The link to that will be down in the description box below. If you're interested in trying Green Chef, you can go ahead and click it, at, click it, click it out, click it and check it out. But there's absolutely no need to do that. I will maybe talk about my opinion on Green Chef versus like HelloFresh and maybe try some other boxes and see what we think in a different video. But I mean, the meal was good. There's no discounting that. There's no discounting that. But guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this one. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you don't know what's comment down below, leave, I'm sure there's a pea emoji. Like, you know, a little pea pod. If there's not, just leave a, leave a vegetable. Leave a vegetable, guys. Not only does that help out my channel a lot, but it lets me know that you were here. It gives us a chance to chat. It lets me know you made it to the end of the video. And of course, I just love to see your faces down there. If you want another way to help out my channel, down below there are links to my website, my merch store, and my Patreon. There's zero obligation to check any of those out, but if you want to, you can. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. If you have any recommendations for what meal I should make next, Leave that down in the description below as well. If you have a video you want me to follow along with to try and make something, leave that. Let me know, let me know what you guys think. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and night, whatever it is where you are. Remember to stay ginky AF and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, hello there. Yes, uh, this is me.
casually drinking from my Ginky AF merch because uh, I don't have any bloopers to share. But if you like my cup or my shirt or some leggings or some socks, there's links in the description below. Be Ginky as and enjoy your coffee or tea or water or whatever else you like to drink from mugs. <laughs>